here and my sleep nanny tips for you this week are for those with cheeky little cock climbers. Little ones often try to escape the crib. They might scale the side or hoist themselves over while others don't ever even attempt it. If you're dealing with this now or want to prepare for the future, in this episode I'll give you my top tips for keeping your little one safe in the cot or crib and know when it's time to switch to a toddler bed instead. As soon as they can stand, babies and toddlers love to practice this skill in the cot, pulling up on the cot side and strengthening those muscles, ready to make the escape in a few months time. Well, it really is best for a little one to sleep in a cot or crib right up to as close to age three as possible. Why? because they don't actually have the cognitive ability to understand about staying in bed until they're at least two and a half. So by switching to a toddler bed too soon could open a new can of worms with a wandering toddler getting up and down 50 times a night. Sure, you can walk them back to bed every time, but you'll be doing this for a long time if they're too young to understand. So how can you keep a climber safe in his or her cot? Try all of these things before even thinking about a toddler bed. Number one, use an age appropriate sleep sack. There are various ones on the market with crafty fastenings that they can't break out of. And there are ones with little footholds so your toddler can still waddle about the cot without falling over. And there are even ones that are more like a onesie with a very low crutch so it prevents them from getting a leg over the cot side and, and getting out. Okay, some little ones don't seem to like these suits and sacks, but you know what's best for them. And just like they might not like being in the cot, it's the best place for most under threes to be. So I recommend you do persist. Number two, make sure the cot is set to the lowest mattress setting and the cot sides are high and sturdy. This is important for safety anyway, and you should always adjust the cot setting to meet the safety guidelines for your child's age, size, and developmental stage. So I'd like to say this one goes without saying, but it is still a useful reminder and worth noting. It, this is, uh, if you think your little one is close to actually going for it and making the leap, you can pad the floor, this is number three. You can pad the floor with extra bedding to protect them if they do go for it. So bear in mind that some toddlers will give you the impression they're gonna go for the escape, but not actually go through with it. So observe and prepare. And number four, make sure there is nothing in the cot that is giving your little one a boost. So bedding, soft toys, anything that could be aiding the escape. Making it as difficult as possible for your little one to climb out of his or her cot is the best thing you can do and help them to get past this phase and settle happily back in the cot where they'll be safest for the time being. Just because your friend's child has switched to a toddler bed without any hitches doesn't mean that that's going to last for them or that it's going to work for your little one. Sometimes they stay put in a toddler bed for a few months and then find their freedom. Some little ones will stay put in a toddler bed and all is fine. But if you know your child is the alert type, the curious type, then there is a good chance that they won't stay put in a bed either. My emphasis here is really to try everything I've suggested before making the decision to move to a bed. If you do end up going for the toddler bed, then check out my video about under two and a half and in a toddler bed already. I have a video on that, which will give you tips on how to keep them safe and sleeping well. So tell us, do you have a cock climber? What have you tried? And what are you going to try now that you've heard these tips? Let us know and share this with a friend who might be struggling with a cock climber too. So I will see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You stay happy, stay healthy, and sleep soundly. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.